I'm selling all my shoes. Okay, well, not all of them, but a good handful. Hear me out. I've been collecting for a long time. And over the years, every year, you gotta have some type of spring cleaning. Sometimes it's more than once a year. Sometimes it's once a year. Sometimes it overflows until the next year and then you gotta get rid of stuff again. Either way, I need to get rid of some stuff and make some space again. So I'm hopefully gonna try to get rid of at least 50 pairs of shoes for my collection. Wish me luck. Let's go ahead and see what we can pull. All right, I don't even know if we're calling this <laughs> spring cleaning or what. There's just so many shoes that do not have a home yet that are still in the boxes. And one day, one day I'll be able to look at all these samples. I, I don't even haven't even shown you guys all this stuff. That's just some of it. It's crazy to think about this. So we got some of the stuff here. Obviously, these are probably the more prominent sneakers that I know I want to keep. But I got a lot of new stuff and older stuff that face box era, you name it. Just so many different things. I just got done making a video about this. You still need a home. But um, man, I don't even. I don't even know where to begin uh, with this. Mm -hmm. So I, I actually have this stack right here actually in particular that I do plan on already kind of, I pulled aside like a few months ago, just slowly grabbing things. So let me kick this over here real quick, which I'll be able to go through this stuff later as well. Let me show you guys. Um, we got like Gratitude 11s, yellow ones, blue suede ones, random stuff, Jordan ones. Um, these are gonna be easy letting go. I just got done doing my J Balvin video, so I got all my J Balvin stuff. Also, my J Balvin ones are a sample as well. I don't know if I ever told anybody that, but those are some of the organ stuff over here, some Jordan ones over here. Some of the samples and PEs over here on this side. Um, some other stuff. You guys be asking about these all the time, so I'll show you guys a quick look. These things go crazy. I got a bunch of stuff like this, like in boxes like these that, you know, one day I'll show the world. One day I will show the world. Um, so I need to go through this. I have a list on my phone as well. i try to find some more stuff. There's just so many random things, bro. Like, <laughs> what the? Ah, the pile of beaters. I need to like, get rid of some of this stuff too. I feel like there's some of these shoes I literally haven't worn in so many years. And it's time to just let them go to a new home, I think. Damn. It's crazy. You gotta, hey, I got a few pairs of these. Don't play me. These, oh man, I tried to repaint their midsoles. How did I do? I feel like I did solid, kinda, ish. Let's see, we got these too. Oh man, I used to hoop these like crazy back in the day. When I was in high school, I was hooping these like crazy. Damn, the rocker pile. I was so pissed these started falling apart. They're flapping on me. See the disconnector right there? I like rocking these. And they just like turned like yellow right there on both of the shoes or orange or whatever. I don't even know. It's kind of weird. So I stopped wearing those too. Some other stuff. Oh, I love them in my Prestos too. <sighs> so many shoes one day one day i'll be able to display everything there's oh speaking of that again this is literally one of the rooms there's a whole closet it's full of stuff too and it goes like all the way back there but it's on this side of the wall so <sighs> there's a lot of stuff in here I haven't got to show you guys this because it's just, again, so organized mess in a sense. Like, bro, what the? F this is how I, I just be struggling, bro. It's, it's so much going on. These is all sample boxes too, full of stuff. I haven't even pulled out yet. <sighs> One day, I'm gonna show you guys. It's gonna be crazy. I can't wait. <laughs> Just not today. This is, you guys asked, I'm trying to give you guys somewhat of a sneak peek or whatever you wanna call it. But yeah, we got some good stuff in here. Some nice old stuff up in here. Let me pull out some of these old shoes too and see what we got. 
Ooh, great, nice. Oh, I was just talking about these the other day. Have you guys seen these? Hold on real quick. Oh, shoot. So they made this in a football cleat, and a baseball cleat. This is an old retro 2000s. I don't remember what year it was. I want to say it was like 2002, 2003, something like that. Screw on bottom. Dope cleat right here. So, okay. I give you guys a little look. I know people be asking all the time. So this is just kind of a little bit of it. There's plenty more where that came from in the other room too. So I'm gonna go through, I need to grab this stuff. I need to grab some stuff from the other room, load up the car, do all those things. So let me uh, let me just get to work real quick. A few minutes later. All right, so on this side over here, as you guys can see, there's a lot of different shoes that I wear. These are in like my daily rotation. We got some beaters and some stuff over here. I got some of the other beaters over here on this side, but uh, I have, two pairs of these and i was like oh i have a dead stock pair now size 13 this is a 12. i was trying to make it work but i just couldn't so i think i'm gonna let these ones go as well and honestly what i'm thinking about doing too is just like taking this whole thing besides this row right here and just going ahead and seeing if he wants to buy it because i just don't have time for it <laughs> This is like from an old video, a little funny skit we did. I literally got these for like 20 bucks, but um, yeah, everything else is legit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I just got like a bunch of random stuff here. You guys saw it like on the site and different things like that. I just don't want to deal with it anymore and I just need to get it out of here. This is a good amount of pairs. So I think this is a perfect opportunity to try to get this stuff sold. And I'll run through a couple of the pairs for you guys just so you can kind of see what's inside the boxes. Finger traps. This right here is a grail. I might have to keep these low-key. Another one. Sleeper. Ooh, wee. Those are solid as well. Talk about a classic right here. This, these had the game in a choco. Another sleeper. These are cooked. <laughs> Hopefully it takes them. All right, we're all cleared out now. Still keeping my rockers in the rotation. Uh, but over here, we got a good amount of stuff. I don't know how many pairs it is, but I think it's looking solid. I'll count it up and figure it out. I'll let you guys know when I get in the car. Now that I've gone through everything and shown you guys more bits of the collection, I need to load the car up and get on the road because we're heading up to Centralia and I'm about to meet my guy Pinnacle Air and he's gonna be buying the stuff from me and I'm gonna show you guys that whole process as well. All right, we got the entire back of this car loaded with a bunch of sneakers. As you can see, we're jam packed to the top. Hopefully he takes it all. So we are almost there. Um, we got about 20 more minutes left on the drive and there's roughly around like 80 something pairs of shoes that I was able to get in the car. Uh, I didn't put anything in the front, just everything in the back here. So the goal is to get rid of at least 50 pairs of shoes. So we're looking good. Now we'll see if we can make these deals. He also brought some stuff to trade to me. <laughs> so I might be like selling and trading at the same time, but at the end of the day, I want to leave and come back home with way less shoes in the car. That's the goal. So we'll be there soon. I'll give you guys some updates. We'll show you how the whole process goes. And the Nike outlet is out here too. So after we do this deal, I got to check out the Nike outlet. I had to buy some more shoes there too. We made it. <laughs> Did you guys find anything at the store? Uh, we found a couple of things. My daughter found some Nike dunks. I okay. found some dunks as well. Some white and green, uh, like with a little off-white vibe for okay. only 50 bucks, but. They, they beat yeah. us to the store, so yeah, now I'm gonna yeah, go yeah. out. Yeah. There's gonna be nothing in there. <laughs> There's some Vomero size 13, bro. Okay, the, okay. That's, that's my thing, is what, uh, what color? Uh, they're like uh, all white with like a little bit of green and yellow on okay. them. Okay, fire. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, I tried to put everything that was on the initial list okay. this way. Some okay. of the stuff that stacked wasn't on the list. Okay. Uh, I'll make sure I put that aside. Yeah. All the stuff facing forward is was on the list. Okay. So that way it's easier for us to go through this real quick. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you want to. We don't just crack the boxes as we stack them or whatever you want to do. Yeah, that's fine. I'll let you look at them. You guys made it down pretty quick. Yeah, we were mobbing. I think you should just keep these to wear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I got it in me. <laughs> that was... <laughs> That's definitely a wild shoe. So I got like, actually a couple pairs of those. I was like, I'm keeping one too, but uh, I got like all the colors of the low tops and the high tops. Those are kind of fire. That's a good shoe. Yeah. Good little everyday joint. Hi, Tori. Hi. I, I was watching you. Did you guys sell these shoes? 
Oh, I'm buying them all right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna buy all of them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are they crumbling? Of course they're crumbling. Yeah. Oh man. That's a, oh my gosh. What are these again? That's the Gold Digger gold. San Francisco SB gold rush. Trainer One. Yeah, you Gold just, Rush. I was so excited until I saw this. Look at that. Oh man. I don't think, I didn't know that many shoes fit in a Tesla, bro. Yeah, we got about <laughs> like 80 something in there. <laughs> yeah. I tried to stuff it in there as much as I could. Oh yeah. Here's some other stuff. There you go, sample. I don't, I don't know if either one of us could pull those off, man. Hey, I would rock those if they was my size. What, what would you wear these with? I would just, I mean, the pants would cover it though. Yeah, yeah. But that toe is fire, like. Yeah, I so would, you're, I mean, you're just saying like, you like yeah, this part of the shoe. Yeah. I mean, I can get that. Like if that was a low top or a mid, I would still rock it. I would think that's cold. Good ankle support. We got everything out the car. Now, uh, he's got some stuff in his car too. We're gonna try to Oh yeah, yeah, out. I got some stuff too. I'm taking over now. <laughs> So we're gonna run through the rest of this stuff real quick, make sure he can check it all out. Um, and then we'll go from there, see if we got anything missing or whatever, and then we'll figure it out. So it's ironic that we're, we're getting these King of the Mountains because right over there is the Centralia Nike clearance store, which is like the best clearance store, hands down. And I remember back in the day, these were chilling on the table. Uh, they had like full runs of them. And I just remember like seeing them and always like wanting these. So these will definitely go to the uh, personal collection. Here. I remember when you saw the list, you were like, so about yeah. those. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh yeah, he's got, there's like, a place in his these. heart for those. King I like those too. I was rocking I mean, them, but I just, uh, I don't know. I feel like my time is up. It's yep. time to go to a new home. Yep. Yeah, I would definitely, these will be, I'm going to sell all the rest of this stuff probably. So check it all out. But you know, this one, I'm definitely keeping. Look at that leather. That's so I mean, nice. just, oh, and then you so got nice. the icy sole with the print on the bottom. Yeah. I mean, and you got the extra laces, like rope laces. This is like ACG vibes. Yeah, right? for That's sure. one of my favorites. Size okay, 13 so we got this stack kind of figured out right here. We still got to go through this stuff over here, but he still hasn't shown me what he has in his car yet. <laughs> so I'm waiting to see <laughs> yeah. what he got for I me. I didn't bring you 80 pairs of shoes. Ah, that's you, good, that's good. I'm good glad. Stuff, my wife would be happy about that one. <laughs> that's, uh, these are some trolley pickups. Okay, so you got these uh, just now? Just now. Those are I heard some crazy reviews on these. I was about to say the same thing. I heard those are super comfortable. I don't know. The only thing is I'm like, do I actually need these if I'm going to do a race or can I run in these? Because it literally oh, you be running, running. record and dead. Yeah, dude, I love running. Okay. I ran okay. cross country when I was a kid, went to state. Dope. Still run no matter what. So I just got done running this morning. I'm beat. Did you? Did you? Yeah. Uh, here's the Centralia pickups. Got these donks. Look okay, at these. Dope. Oh, yeah, those, those are clean. Those are crispy. Yep. 50 bucks. That's not bad. And the girls kick out any some little bags. Weekend sales going on right now or anything? No, they quit doing that. I think they raised the price on a lot of their they, stuff. They used to have some crazy sales. My daughter wanted those because they look super comfy. Yeah. Kind of like some Presto vibes. And my other daughter found these. Those are clean. I think she won on those. Yeah. Those are fire. And then to pay for everything that we bought. We found one of these. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's clutch. Yeah, so then we asked if they had any more. So I was teaching the girls, I was saying, you know, when you're at the store and you're buying all the stuff for yourself, you find something to sell. Yeah. And then you take that profit, because what's the profit? That's all that matters. When yeah. You know, trying to make some money on some of these things. And this is a 12 and a half. This is a really rare shoe. Yeah, that's it. a 12 and a half. It, go, it, goes, it, may, it could go to you if it needs uh. to. This is what this is like 250, 260. Yeah. I mean, and, and no, that's a good win though. You and, get that, you sell it. And we got it, it for, we we got it for 80 for bucks. So the profit goes towards all the extra things we got. I know? like so that. It's free. Right? I like that. I you like know? that. So that's the Centralia pickups. Gotta cover this up. You already saw these in Denver. Yep. That's your white and red 17s. Yep. Need those. I'm gonna crack these open while he's going through the other there stuff. Yeah. The, the 17 era. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> since everybody loves 17s now, right? Like, no, for real. And since we're all in the high numbers, I brought those. Damn, I used to have these. Those. I forgot about these. Yeah. Just classics. I don't know what happened to that box. <laughs> Attacked by a Wolverine or something. I know you wanted these. I have two of these. Yeah. These very, are these are very, very well executed. Super yeah. comfy. Yeah, my, those might have I love to come the bolt, with me. the bolt on the back of the tongue. Can't beat that. Hmm. Um, 
Fear fives. Fear fives. Ooh, okay. Might have been a minute since you had those. I used to have the bro. I bought these and yeah. I didn't wear them for like two years, and I finally bust them out the box to wear them. Yeah. And I opened them up. I tried them on. I'm like, why do they don't feel right? It was a 14. Oh yeah. I'm like, no way. No. So dude, I ended up just selling them. I never got a chance to actually like wear them. These already fit. These already fit big. So 14 is huge. And yeah. We all went through that era okay. where we just wore. We might have to see numbers on the fives. My dad's gonna be like, damn, you got some more fives. Ooh, those are clean. Some questions. Those, those are, are clean. brand new. I don't know if I can oh, do no. the lows though. I only like the highs or mids, whatever you want to consider them. Got some Gamma 11s. Okay, you still rocking with the Gamma. You got rid of the, uh, the what's it Cap called? And sold. The Gowns sold. Yeah, and Gowns? Yep. The Gammas did not sell yet. Okay. And they're pretty damn clean. This is one of my least favorite 11s, just so you know. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I feel like they're just so overhyped. They I, were. I, I mean, used to have these and I'm like, I don't know. I just. I like how there's just barely any ankle creasing right here. Yeah. You always see these all creased up like that. Right? I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. And then last Maybe we'll see. Least, we'll see. I got about five people offering me trades on these, but since we're already doing a huge deal. Yes. I missed that, on these. I figured I could let you get Woke these. up, took an L, went back to sleep. This is my first time. Actually, no, actually, I did see these in person before, but this is my first time holding. The hill is crazy. These are so far. Oh my gosh. And it's all about the. Uh, he said he has some Michigan threes too. Oh, yep, there you go. But he pulled up in them. Disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> orange laces. You got to put the orange laces yeah, those in. Are fire. And once again, look at the leather on the inside. Yeah. The details. Yeah. I'll give you guys a review if I end up getting these. Okay. She about to go charge the car. <laughs> We'll do it. All right. After a lot of hours of debate, the police came. <laughs> the on, police showed up. They pulled up. Yeah. I didn't want to record it because I didn't want no drama. Yeah. But the police showed up. We finally got the deal done. So we this is what he's taking. Market. This is what I'm taking. I'll show you guys everything when I get to the house. We're making way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm now, a little tired. I'm a little hungry. Me too. It feels like a kind of a miniature sneaker con, you know, that the whole our thing. own little sneaker con. Let's now we gotta figure out how you're gonna fit it in the car. I don't know how you're gonna do that. Oh, it's a big body, dude. It'll be okay. We'll be all right. Good so luck, all right. man. Check out Pinnacle Air on Instagram for all of your Bigfoot sneaker needs. Definitely. <laughs> all right, let's run through these shoes real quick and show you guys all the stuff that I picked up and break down the deal for you guys to give you a better understanding on where my mindset is at and how I got these and all the other stuff in between. So. He cashed me out. Originally, the plan was to do a full cash out, and then he had some stuff for trade that he hit me up about. So I said, okay, I'm interested to see what you got. I saw these when we were at SneakerCon Denver, I wanna say. I was interested in them, but I decided not to get them. He still had them available, the white and red 17s with the briefcase and the CD. And I was like, you know what? Throw those in the deal as well. So we threw those into the deal. And then he's like, was telling me about the Michigans, but as you can see, he was wearing the Michigan. So I had to talk him off of his feet just for me to get the shoes. And I ended up doing that successfully. So we got the Michigan threes. I'm looking forward to rocking these as a daily rocker and then i got the gamma 11s which i saw uh he had these i wasn't really interested in them because it was a size 14 i was like you know what might be a good gift for my dad so maybe that might be an option or potential trade bait we shall see so we'll see what's up with this one in particular and then the nina chanel air jordan 3s had just came out and i didn't know he even had these but he brought them and showed me like you guys saw earlier and i was like you know what I want to get this shoe because I really wanted the shoe and I want to give you guys a review. So stay tuned for a review on this one. And then the Air Max Day, uh, we spoke about it. He showed me the shoe and I was like, you know what? Might as well throw it into the deal as well. Great for an everyday rocker type sneaker. So that was kind of my mindset behind these shoes, why I chose to grab these and not the other ones that you guys saw earlier in the video. So at the end of the day, I left the house with about 85 pairs of shoes and I came back home with five pairs of shoes and some cash. So he cashed me out for the rest based off the difference in the value when we added these all up for the trade as well. And then I got an additional cash on top and now I got five pairs of shoes. So this is definitely something to think about when it comes to your own personal collection as well when you got a bunch of different sneakers and you kind of had your life with it and you want to create new memories with new sneakers or whatever it may be and it's time to let those ones go you can either trade them and get some of these and get some cash or you could just sell them all or you could trade them all and not worry about the cash side and just do a perfect trade whatever it may be this is just another video showing you guys options on how you can go about it and then me just documenting my process as well 
to have my memories to watch this video back years from now like I've done in the past. So if you wanna see any other trade videos like this or learn any tips or tricks along the way, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to the channel and I'll see you guys in another one. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and wanna take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you wanna be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, it's definitely gonna be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Listen, my DNA, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down. Listen, my DNA, the only choice.